Blue Cross men's hockey team is playing great right now, but you know what? So is every member of Atlantic Hockey, including the Air Force Academy. Air Force falling to Denver in overtime a week ago. Denver was a national champion just a couple years ago. Air Force in town for two this weekend. Paul Barafato leading Holy Cross. First period, 1-1 game. Jay Mackey the shot, the save. Owen Powers crashing the net, nothing doing. Ryan Farrell then winning the draw. Charlie Barrow, Rister through traffic and in for the goal. 2-1 Holy Cross, first collegiate goal for Barrow. Second period, Air Force's Jordan Himley with the Rister. Right in the dot, he scores. We're tied up at two. Michael Laffin then, brilliant rush, and he rings the crossbar. Peter Cronella. The blister on net, and Shane Starrett with the save, and he hangs on. Spencer Trapp, good rush, getting around the defense. Trapp bearing in, he is denied by Starrett. Tyler Rostenkowski, bearing in, Barafato the save, big collision. Barafato would be okay. Dylan Abood, fires one through traffic. Barafato the save, and he hangs on. And this one ends in a 2-2 tie. The same two teams will go at it tomorrow night at the Hart Center at 7 p.m. Big day tomorrow for the Shrewsbury and Grafton football teams, both playing for state Super Bowl titles. For the Shrewsbury seniors, this has been a memorable season, and it's a great way to end their final year of high school football, playing at Gillette Stadium for a state championship. It's awesome. You know, we've been talking about this since we were freshmen. Um, and it was always in the back of our mind, but it's now it's a reality, and it's just the best feeling ever. We've let our character lead us, and every game we've won, everything that we've done this season, we've earned through our character and hard work. So it's, it's just great to see it all pay off and have a chance to win it all. It's great. You know, it's, couldn't have, you couldn't have written, written it up any better. You know, it's been a great season. We can, if we win this game, it'll be the best season ever. Even with the couple losses we had, we finally made it, so it's, it's, it's awesome right now, you know? We, just, we couldn't ask for anything else. Grafton putting their undefeated record on the line against Hanover. Hanover is also unbeaten. A Super Bowl championship and an undefeated season would be a dream come true for the Indians. This is all we worked for all season. I mean, people have been lifting since January, and now that we, have, we actually have a chance to win a state championship. It's just unreal. 12-0, they're 12-0. Someone's going to lose. And hopefully it's not us, so undefeated season would just be awesome. It feels amazing, just the pinnacle of all four years, just working up to this special moment. So all we have to do is work hard in practice and work as a team and get it done. All right, so should be some good, good Super Bowl games tomorrow at Gillette Stadium. Guess what? We will wrap them all up for you tomorrow night on our final frenzy of the season. 10.30 tomorrow night right here on Charter TV 3. And we'll have all the highlights from the Grafton Super Bowl, from the Shrewsbury Super Bowl post-game reaction from the players as well, and highlights from the Maynard Tigers Super Bowl as well. Tomorrow night at 10.30. Worcester boxer Kendrick Ball Jr. putting his undefeated record on the line tonight at the Twin River Casino. Ball coming in 4-0-1, taking on Nathan Millier out of Canada. Millier coming in with a 9-0-1 mark. And this one, a six-round fight ending in a majority draw. Now, the fight ending... Shortly before 10 o'clock, our own Andy Lacombe was down covering the fight at the Twin River Casino in Rhode Island. I spoke to him on the phone moments ago. He said early in the fight it was Millier, and then it was Kendrick Ball Jr. later in the fight. He was landing shots on Kendrick Ball Jr., not maybe flush, and Kendrick never appeared to be hurt, but he was scoring points in the early rounds. As the fight went on in the third and fourth round, Ball appeared to establish the jab a little bit more, kind of took some of the steam out of the shots from Millier and uh, might have had his best rounds in rounds four and round five. I really think the last three rounds could have gone to Kendrick Ball, and that's what the judges, at least the majority of the judges, found as well. I think the second half of the fight, Kendrick Ball Jr. landed some cleaner shots, landed some bigger shots, and it was set up by his by his jab in, in, in the early going, second, third round, this thing started to turn a little bit, but Millier is tough. Yeah, tough indeed. So again, this ends in a majority draw. Kendrick Ball Jr. and Nathan Millier. There was talk of a rematch after this fight. Congratulations to Holden's Fran Quinn. He qualified in the top five of the qualifying school, so that means 
He has a full exemption on the Champions Tour for 2017. So Quinn playing in the qualifying school, top five qualified, and it went into a playoff. Three guys for the final two spots. Franny Quinn birdieing the first hole of the playoff. He qualifies, so now a full exemption. He doesn't have to qualify for any of the tour events next year for 2017 on the Champions Tour. And remember, the U.S. Senior Open is going to be played at the Salem Country Club. So Fran Quinn will be playing in that in his home state. Congratulations to Franny Quinn. So a lot of a lot of different sports tonight. We had the high school football. We had Holy Cross hockey. Uh, Franny Quinn with golf and boxing as well. Kind of an old-fashioned wide world of sports. It's a good variety tonight. Yeah. It was good, to, fun to be out there and in the rinks and stuff. And uh, Kendrick Ball Jr., Nathan Millier, maybe a rematch. We'll see. But a good test for Kendrick Ball Jr. And he came through with, uh, with very, very high marks for his toughness and his jab as well. Absolutely. For Kevin Shea, I'm Catherine Andrioli. Thank you for watching Worcester News tonight. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 1030. Good night.